This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of Baltimore back here with another episode of Vandal Hearts. In the last episode, we went to the palaces of the old Ash Ashara Dynasty, or Ashura... Yeah, I think it's like Ashara Dynasty. And uh, we were attacked by golems, which were made by the, the wizard Elena, who's the daughter of uh, Magnus Dunbar, who we're going to save. So two more party members, and our places are even growing, but we're not out of the woods yet. We still got to get to the island itself, but uh, what'll wait us at Ryan Bridge? Let's find out as we move to the bridge. Battle over the big bridge? Nah, it's not as big as that. And we won't have uh, Gilgamesh here to fight. Oh, man, that'd be some awesome music, though, But uh, for this game. But nope, different series. It'd be too, there'd be too much epicness popped into that, you know. But, yeah, it's just a bridge. It's not like there's anything happening here. These kinds of bridges just aren't safe. I don't know. That looks pretty big for it. Look at that bridge. It's like, let's see, 5, 10, 15. Well, well actually, you can't really do each block square as a 5 foot. I'm just so used to D&D versions of the blocks uh, come on I'm going anyway well that's not like we can go around I'm not I'm not so sure about that hmm? what the where did you all come from how'd you pop up out of nowhere gosh darn jack in the box yeah. huh those aren't merchants don't bother me none we can always sell their stuff for money after we kill them hmm. oh, bandits always want to kill us oh boy where did these guys come from all of a sudden? Don't worry, piece of cake. Piece of cake! Hey, it looks like these guys are game. Don't worry, we won't even get our hands blood bloody our hands. What do you mean by that? Look out, I smell gunpowder. Whoa! Nuts. That's not good. Huh, I missed. Well, that's okay, this bridge will collapse soon enough. They're headed for the bottom of the river. Won't that mean our stuff will get lost too? So you'll lose out on some, like, food, money, or whatever? This is not good. Let's cross the bridge before it collapses. Yep. We have a new mechanic in this. Well, I don't know if I can say new mechanic. But we have a new uh, a thing to have to worry about for this fight. Uh, yeah, victory to defeat the enemies. Ash is killed. So forth and so on. Um, yep, uh, the bridge will destroy itself every turn, like one thing at a time. So you always want to make sure that no one's in that line when it blows up, which you shouldn't if you're paying attention. Um, if they are on it when it blows up, they're immediately killed. Like, not like permadeath or anything like that. They're just out of the fight. So, uh, this fight has no secrets. So don't worry about it. Because the reason for that is because of, oh my god. Yeah, like, they're just all in front of you. There's, like, almost no, like, plan to sneak around. And this random little bit here in a rock, but we'll never be able to get to that. Don't even worry about that. Think of it as thing in the background for... for... Anyway, we got a new, uh, well, a new enemy unit. Um, Hellbats. They're flying units or air. I'm just going to say flying just because it's easier. But uh, these guys are annoying because they can st they can possibly poison you, which is annoying. Um, and if you don't have the elixir, uh, you're pretty much out of luck. You have to basically just let your HP drain until you well and either I don't even think it goes away naturally I think it just stays with you for the rest of the fight if it does go away it takes a really long time anyway we got uh, updated the brigands who do a bit more damage um, nothing new about them new archers or hunters I guess they're called and that's it so yep uh, for the beginning of the fight we want to make sure to move everyone up one uh, because of the movement of the bats because if you move up one they'll attack you so we're trying to prevent the damage we can. But yeah, this fight's kind of a, uh, can be kind of a dangerous because one, because of the bat poison, but two, because these guys pretty much just straight up charge in. So it wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe do a, a battle save um, at the beginning of the fight, uh, just in case, because you never know what could happen. Um, oh yeah, with Huxley in the group, we now have, oh yeah, I guess I can show their stats. Um, yeah, he's actually got decent, weirdly enough, Huxley has decent agility. Um, so it, you'd be surprised how, well, not doesn't happen all the time, but you'd be surprised how often Huxley actually like can block attacks. <laughs> like it doesn't happen all the time, but it, but it shocked me the first so many times I used Huxley. I was like, holy cow, he blocked it. Um, yeah, he's got healing, heals up to 50 HP. Um, Elena, her thing is, is she? Um, yeah, she's got decent agility too, weirdly enough. Um, I think it's just because they're not fighting units, so they have to kind of uh, because they're going to take full damage because they don't have high defense, so they try to give them the opportunity to uh, possibly block their attacks. Um, her thing is Dark Star. Um, basically, it's a short-ranged uh, uh, spell um, that doesn't do a ton of damage. Uh, I don't even think... 
Yeah, it's just a magic attack. I, I, I don't remember this game having, like... This game doesn't really have, like, things in the way of, um... Elemental weaknesses. This one just has... It's like Fire Emblem, where it just has, like... Oh, if you hit this one guy with this class, they'll do more damage, but that's it. So there's no, like, oh, this fire spell works on fire things. Or ice things, or whatever. So, yeah, these guys kind of just straight up uh, charge after you, so this can be a little dangerous. But with everyone upgraded and everything like that, we should be fine. Alright. Yep, and the thing blows up, so you want to make sure to move at least up one every turn. Elena, why don't, uh, lady, why don't you whip up some golems now? Don't you remember you destroyed them all? Do you know how long it took me to make those golems? One year to form them from the mud and the two years to give them life. Three years per golem? Or is that just the group in general? You can't be that old for that, so it's gotta be the whole golem set or whatever. Man, talk about commitment that we killed in how many minutes? Ooh, that must suck. Okay, okay, I got it. Next time you should make them a little more durable. Hmm, huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, since these guys are flyers, you want to have uh, Diego obviously go after them if you can. Um, I think... I think you can almost kill them. Not quite. Okay, you can. I wasn't sure. I'm trying to remember if I've actually straight up killed him. I think it's because if you if he's at level 7, he might not be able to one-shot him. Um, so, yeah. You, if you can get Diego to level 8 by this point, uh, good good on you. Um, okay. So, let's go ahead and have Elena cast Dark Star. Gets some extra damage there. Oh, a cool little mechanic. If you can see there, Clint has a shield up like he's blocking. Yeah, one of the neat little like just details of the game is like whenever an ally casts a spell, they all hold their shields up like, oh god, don't hit me. You know, like uh, like realistically, because spell uh, magic might be like chaotic or whatever. So, um, let's see. Uh, do I want to have? I should have Clint finish him off. Get the experience. Ah. I could swear you could do enough damage. Please don't poison. Thank you. Um, uh, crap. Okay, I'll have to have Ash finish him off then. Oh well. I could swear Clint could do enough damage to finish off the bat. And for this fight, you kind of want to have your characters have... Oh, I was about to not move him up all the way. <laughs> and I was like, whoops! Um, but yeah, you kind of want to have all your characters that... At least until we get past this first, like, kind of little area, you want to make sure to top off, uh... Um, Clint at this point. Because you've got the archers and then you've got the two fighters, so Ash should be able to take a couple of hits. Yeah. And Ash, yeah, Ash does a decent amount of damage, so he's, his counterattack's gonna be, like I said, you usually want Ash to be in front, so he should be killed. He has a decent amount of HP. Even with the support and everything like that, that should, you'll definitely want to heal him afterwards for sure, but... Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, luckily those guys won't move immediately. They'll let you take out that group, even though realistically they would charge after them, but... Uh, oh man, things are getting tense. If only we could get some help, but that's not gonna come. What the?! Looks like you guys could use some help. Who are you? My name's Kira Wolfstan. Let's fight together. Oh man, one of my, well, one of my favorite, one of my, well, not my favorite party member. I like her just because of her model and everything like that. Just uh, just the whole um, look about her and uh, everything. Because she has the whole, um, I don't know what you call that, like little slit in the front dress where it's like it covers the front and back but leaves like the legs open. I don't know. I I just think that's a. Uh, I think that's hot. Sorry, but it's true. Anyway, um, yeah, Kira's another archer character. So, yep, she, uh, I think her stats are similar to Diego's, I think. I don't think uh, character models 36, 35, 35. Yeah, I didn't think so. Like, yeah, most of the classes have the same stats until a certain point. Um, if you want, if you have certain equipment and stuff like that on them. But, yeah, they, the game makes a lot of stuff pretty simple. So, they don't do the whole, oh, if you've got this one character... He's going to be better than this one, you know, like some games do. And then you want to dump out the weak character for the new one, even if you like the other character better. So, anyway, we want to push this rock. To beat that, or do the damage to the bat. See, what did the, what the bat have before? Uh, oh, um, 
Okay, I want to move up one because for whatever reason she can't. Uh, um, see, so yeah, I did. See, in the previous fight with the golems, it did 28 damage. And then this one, it does 23 damage. So, yeah, it's got to be the rock does half damage um, overall. Suck in this. Suck in this, Brigid. What a fighter. She did one thing. I don't think that requires that much of a thing, but okay. A apparently, Ash is very pr easily impressed. But no, I, I do like Kira um, as a character in her, in her model, obviously. Um, I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure who my favorite character is. I know we haven't. Um, probably someone we haven't met yet. Okay, how do we want to do this? Do we want to just heal? Probably want to... I have, well, no, if I move too far... I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Because I think I'm just going to waste... I think I'm just going to use Ash's turn to heal. Um, I think I might have Clint finish him off. I'm just trying to decide... I think if I move this far, I think they will start moving. Because uh, uh, um, Elena can kill one easily, as well as Diego or Huxley. I could have Huxley do it if I really wanted to. Because that, ha that's enough HP for Huxley to be able to finish him off. Uh, I'm just trying to decide. Because if they do that and that, they'll counterattack with that. And I'll just have a... That should yeah, gain you a level. Alright. Alright, that. You're fine at your level. Um, let's go to Dark Star U. The Archer will probably end up not attacking. Weirdly enough, probably won't attack Ash. Um. Actually, I do like Ash as a character. is not bad either. For for a main protagonist, he he's a bit more uh, interesting than other characters. If that makes any sense. Um, Ash, let me. I'm going to heal you. Oh yeah, Ash at level eight gets Ice Storm, um, which is a magic spell. Only has one range, um, and it does attack magic. Um, that, well, that one is useful against, obviously, heavy armor dudes, but I almost never use his attack magic until, well, let's just say there's a, something happens at some point where his magic's awesome, but uh, I don't want to spoil things too much. Let's just say it gets better. I do like Huxley's attack where he just, like, <laughs> he basically golf clubs him. For... I'm going to attack with you. Yeah, I might as well. Probably gonna end up attacking Diego anyway, and I'll just heal him with Huxley. What? Ah! Yeah, no. It can happen. Big world! It, in this game, it is a little obnoxious when, when people block because that's quite a. That's a bit of damage you're. You know, a less threat you're having to deal with. Or one more threat you're having to deal with because you didn't finish mob or do damage. Then I'm actually kind of surprised he attacked a. Here's where you might get poisoned. Let's see if it happens. Nuts! Dang it! And of course it's the one character who does it. And he blocks! Oh my god. I knew it. I knew something like that was going to happen. She's usually the one that gets poisoned, by the way. I'm trying to remember. I think she has an herb on her. But yeah, the, but the bat blocked, too. Oi. Oh, man. Um... Man. I don't think she, I, I don't think you can get killed from poison. I think it reduces you to one. Does she have? Uh, or she has an herb at least. But the problem is that she gets attacked, and then I don't even think. Well, the point of Kira is to actually go well, after beating the bats, obviously. Um, but her character, what she's supposed to do, she's supposed to basically snipe after beating the bat. She's supposed to snipe these guys. Uh, but because the bat blocked, I had to waste a turn killing the bat. But yeah, I had a I had a very strong inkling that maybe uh, um, uh, Kira was gonna um, fail to kill the bat or fail to hit the bat or, and get poisoned. Um, oh yeah, no more archers, so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, you can see yeah if you almost never see anyone's block animation, you'll see it uh, because of Elena if you or any wizard character that uh, casts spells that do attack damage. 
don't think... I don't think Huxley can do enough... Uh, I'm not sure you, uh, your MP's at 6 now, right? You could heal 3 more times. I might just heal Ash again, just to give him the experience for that. Because he did, gets a okay amount of experience for healing himself. Let's see, 8, 7, 8... He could kill him off for sure. I just... I don't think any of the fighters should be able to get over there, I don't think. Get to that. Even when I move it, I don't think he can. I'm gonna see if Huxley can do enough damage. I'm not sure if he can or not. Because all he can do is either heal or whatever. And it's like, it's like before. You can't heal someone who hasn't taken any damage. Ah, oh, so close. That's. No, I was hoping he'd do enough damage. Probably if I hit him from, like, if the archer was here and I'd hit him from top, he probably would have done enough damage. Let's see, we don't want to move. Maitland just uh, not get extra damage if we can. But at least it'll give me a reason to heal Huxley next turn. I'll make a good experience for that without having to attack. Yeah, I'm just going to heal him again just to get that experience. But yeah, if, at this point, Kira would have hit someone with her bow, and then someone probably would have counter or attacked Ash, and, and, uh, and he probably would have finished one off. But... Yeah, I was hoping that Lena wasn't going to get poisoned. I'm not sure. I, I I don't remember what the percentage is of, of like how like what guarantees poison. I think it's one of those. It's ah oh, what? Uh, um, I think it's one of those. It's like a 25% chance or something like that where you can possibly poison. So so nothing huge, but there is a chance. Really? Holy cow! I've almost never had uh, enemies uh, blocked that many times. That's, that's pretty ridiculous. Usually it's like one person, but not all of them. You know what I mean? Man, I'm just getting unlucky with these. Uh, um, I'm actually now kind of curious if, if, because I, I, it's been forever since I've let someone get hit with the poison. But I'm trying to remember I, if you can actually die from poison. Though. Anyway, yeah, this is what she's supposed to be doing. Oh, uh, well, I'll show if if she does die, I can show her death animation. And I can show you what happens when the character dies um, on screen. Um, yeah, another reason why you don't want to have the characters to die is, well, if she dies, I'll, I'll show you what happens at the end. Um, but anyway, uh, God, um, okay. So, let's see how far can that guy move? Let me move up. Oh, she can, she can move pretty far, but I think her, I think her spell can hit from here. Oh, uh, but do. It might be better just to have her hit someone that doesn't that hasn't had damage yet. Because then a melee fire can go in and finish them off. I'll probably have to have Ash actually attack someone this turn too. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one. Yeah, we'll find out if poison actually kills you or, or gets you to one. This will be a good experiment to, to find out like what actually happens. I mean, it means I'll have to redo the fight off screen, but I don't mind doing that too much. Um, I guess Diego could. Uh... Whoops! No, I don't want to go there. I mean, he'll. Uh... What? Oh, what the heck! Wow, game. Wow, you're being kind of punk. <laughs> How many blocks was that? Four? Or something like that? Because the bat, those two, yeah, four blocks. Oh my god. Um, uh, okay. Well, I need you to probably heal. Actually, no, I'm not close enough. Um, I was always wondering if I could actually heal with, uh, heal with Huxley, but Huxley. Ah! No! <laughs> um,. Actually, I'm kind of curious if I can actually get Huxley to get over there. Uh, like, if I kill that guy, would that give me enough room? The only problem I'm worried about is if I move there, he can attack him. Uh, can he get from behind? I don't think he can. No. But depends on who goes first. 
I think that I think the way ally, uh, enemies work is it's always the one in front goes first. Well, this will be interesting to see. Um, aw, man, no! Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'll just heal. I'll just heal Diego. So, yeah, if, if, if she ends up dying for the poison, I'll... It'll, uh, my stats might be slightly different from one level to the next. They should be able to kill off Ash. Because Ash has a decent amount of HP. Although, <laughs> I was about to say, Ash might just, like, counterattack him everyone before before she even die gets killed anyway from poison. Yep. Don't block. Well, never mind, folks. I'm not going to be able to show you. I was kind of hoping to get some more experience from Huxley to heal people. Um, but, yeah, that's the, one of the few problems with having Ash in front is uh, he straight up wrecks everyone. <laughs> so, oh well. Yeah, fire, sorry I couldn't show the experiment of what happens when someone dies on, on screen or from, if they die from poison. But, uh, I mean, I guess I'm lucky because then I don't have to redo the fight, but also because I miss out on some tasty little extra experience for, like, Huxley. But don't worry, we'll be able to... The game kind of makes up for that and like the the experience you get from higher levels as well as if I heal or do stuff to characters that are higher level than myself, I get more experience to compensate for it. So thanks for helping us. Oh, Kira, a mercenary. Yeah, she's quite cute. Yeah, like I said, I, I like her design a lot. A fierce warrior to beauty as well. I think I'm in love. That's rude, Diego. That's okay. I'm going to hire me as a bodyguard. Aren't we supposed to be doing a secret mission? Like, why are we letting everyone join us? Like, old man joins us. Pr uh, well, I guess she's not a princess, but, you know, general's daughter joins us, and now possibly a, f a female mercenary. Like, I guess this is not really a secret mission anymore at this point, is it? It looks like you only have one cute guy as your basic archer class. Who talks like that? Well, yeah, this game does. But, uh... Yeah, I bet you could use another archer in your party. How about it? Yeah, you could always use more archers. <laughs> she called me cute. We're f you're a fine archer. You're welcome to join a party, right, Ash? Well, I mean, she is a nice piece of ass. Sweet, sweet, uh, what is it? Uh, taste, 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 sweet, 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 can. So sweet, 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 can. I don't even remember what anyone remembers that from. Of course we do, but... But this is a top secret mission. Yeah, Ash. So what? What about Al Elaine and the old man? Okay, she's a, that's a good point. She can come. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> it's because you just want someone some eye candy, dude. Are you sure, Ash? Well, I didn't. Uh, well, are you sure? I was the one who was at first didn't want to do it. We shouldn't involve someone we hardly know. Exactly, we hardly know her. As well as Elaine and Huxley. Oh yeah, even I'm a match for even. I bet I'm a match even for you. Not if he gets in close, dude. One shot would probably finish you off, Kira. It's not your strength that I'm questioning. You sound like a grumpy old man, Clint. Huh, dot dot dot. I also like this music too, the kind of the mystery, I forgot what the actual theme is called, but it's kind of the, every time there's always like something going on, like a mystery or like a, uh, uh, something going on in the shadows, you know, but I don't know why it's playing here specifically, but sun will set soon, let's make camp. Yeah, one of the few times we have an overnight scene, I think, in the game, you know, like all good J, uh, J, uh, JRPG protagonists, you know. At night time, someone always has to be awake. Actually, I, I was I was I just wanted not to talk there so you could actually hear the little ditty there. Um, I think he's playing on a flute or something like that. But that's beautiful. And then we get the orchestral version of that same song right there, right here. Oh, it's you. Couldn't sleep. Yep, like all Japanese protagonists, we have we have insomnia. Can't sleep. Nope. Gotta talk at night. I want to apologize for forcing you to take me. No, you actually apologize. Most characters just go, you should have taken me, or whatever. But she's actually like, sorry about just shoving myself into your party. But we kind of do need mages. Mages are pretty awesome, so. Well, I understand you're worried about your dad. But you should not know it's possible that your dad really is a traitor. It's also possible that he has reasons that neither of us know about. I want you to be ready to judge yourself uh, for yourself when the time comes. I know what you're trying to say. 
I trust my father completely. Dot, dot, dot. Ash wouldn't know that, would he? The truth is, I'm adopted. What? Actually, it's not really that big of a twist. I mean, I guess you could see it because Dunbar had, like, looked like gray-black hair while she has blonde hair. But the thing is, recessive genes are weird, so... DNA is odd. Anyway, 15 years ago, madness found me. But my, par my parents had been killed in the war. I couldn't remember who I was or what my name was. Does that mean she has a mysterious background? Hmm? Hmm? I see what you're trying to do, game. No. But madness led me, even if I was his own, f as if I was his own, f if I was his own flesh and blood. Ugh. That's why I'm always trust my father, even if no one else does. Oh, well, it's nice to have a uh, life like that. That's beautiful. I'm jealous of you. Yeah, one well, of the few times Ash is kind of smiling. <laughs> usually, like I said, usually he's sad or pensive or whatever. You don't trust your father? He died during the revolution. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. He doesn't deserve it. My father was a soldier in the Liberation Army, but he switched sides and died a traitor's death. My mother and I faced constant humiliation. After mother died, I fell apart and only Commander Beckett trusted me. He saved me for myself. Mr. Lambert. Anyway, I, I didn't mean to bore you with that. Please call me Ash, Lenny. Sure, Ash, and you can call me Lenny. Sweet dreams, Ash. Good night, Lenny. So that was a sweet moment. I like that. The game has just enough of that stuff peppered into the game. Now, there are... Unfortunately, this game does suffer from some, some side characters kind of getting slowly kind of shoved into the background at certain points. Not everyone. I mean, the main characters get enough lines, but yeah, you'll, you'll notice eventually that some characters kind of get... But I do like how the game... A lot of characters are still there. They might just not talk. Kind of like in the scene where we're talking to Kira, Elena, Hux, who are still there. They just didn't say anything because they didn't have anything important to the plot, so... Let's go ahead and go on to Port St. Minato, Minato or whatever. We got a few minutes, and no major story stuff happens until I want it to. We need to find a ship to take us to Gilbaras Island. Uh, let's uh, go around to the tavern and ask around. Mm, it's strange. Last time I was here, this was a lively and bustling port city. Yep. Let's check the shop. The dojo isn't going to have anything. And the, if you go to the tavern, it'll uh, start the next section. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything. I don't think it's not till chapter two till we get the next step of everything else. Um, I think I'm trying to. Write, I think Kira's already got the, all her main weapons. Yeah, she's already got her bow. I guess I could check. I I could re lit up her stuff just to see if she had everything. Uh, but yeah, I think she's already. Um, yeah, she's already got her stuff. Uh, okay, so we don't need. And I didn't need to waste a. I didn't need to use an elixir because I finished the fight before before uh, uh, she got poisoned or whatever. So. All right, let's, uh, actually, you know, I got a few minutes. Let's start the story, a little story bit of it. It's not, it doesn't take too long. A ship? I don't think you'll have much luck. The pirate Hassan has been prowling this area recently. Yeah, pirates. Everything's so afraid that all trade's been dealt, brought to halt. The real of this mine lives on Gilbar's Island, but all content has been cut off because of that damn pirate. I hope he's okay. The monster living in the sand dune near and out. Pirates in the sea, monsters in the sand. What's next? What's next? I don't know. Wait a minute. There is there is one chance. Ah, forget it. You never do it. Tell me. What? Well, his name is Grog Drinkware. What kind of name is that? Drinkwater? It's like calling myself, you know, uh, Valdemar Eat Dirt or something. I don't know. It just seems silly. Or, I mean, <laughs> Valdemar Eat Sandwich, you know. Eat fresh. He was a great soldier once, but his younger brother was killed by Hassan the pirate, and he hasn't been the same since. Let's go to talk with that this grog fellow. All right. He seems like a lovely fellow. <laughs> we have to load in grog's house. That's almost kind of funny when you think about it. It's because it's a different. It's not like you know flat, or it's not like um, uh, like a flat graphic or whatever. It's an actual like you can tell. I kind of like in the background where they have the kind of the sliding screen, like you see those rocks just in the background. I think it's just a, a, a close-up version of the actual graphics and the actual house itself, but something to have in the background instead of it just being like black or whatever. Wow, that guy's drunk. Look at his face. Or he's super mad, one of the two. Excuse me. Anybody home? Hello. Housekeeping. I'm coming in. Housekeeping, what, he jerk you off? What kind of hotel is this? Oh, it's you. Man, this place... Man, this place stinks of wine. 
You bust into my place and then your mouth off. Sorry we not, but no one answered. Stupid punks! I didn't answer because I didn't want to be bothered. Yar. Well, we're here anyway. We want to hire you to, and your ship to take us to Gobaris Island. Of course, we'll pay you handsomely. Gobaris Island. Yar. Even your strangers must have heard the rumors of Hassan the pirate. If you don't want to die, you'll forget about going there. We're not leaving until you agree to take us. We, we act di diplomatically, Ash. We're not to leave until you take us. Humph! Harumph! I get what I want. Come on already! You'll never make it there. We can protect you from those sea dogs. Okay, I'll make a deal with you. If you guys are strong enough to defeat the monster living in the desert sand dunes outside of town, I'll think about it. Okay, it's a deal. Ash, you don't even know what the heck it is. Yeah, well, fortunes favor the bold, I guess. Don't get your full cells killed. And just keep drinking your grog or your uh, or, uh, ale or whatever you drink in this town. But uh, all right, well, if we're gonna, if we wanna, oh, actually, can we? Yeah, we'll visit Grog after we defeat the monster. I don't think anyone in the tavern. Okay, we'll def we'll have a drink after we defeat that monster. But yeah, if we want to get to Gilbaris Island, we're going to have to defeat that uh, that creature in the sand dunes. But what does live in the sand dunes here? Does the... <laughs> uh, is it some person? Man? Monster? Why does Tremors comes to mind? Find out next time in the next episode of Vandal Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.